On the Microscope PC, check to see if the chamber view is visible. If not, press camera on the control panel, or double click the detector on the screen and select TV. The chamber should appear as it does on the screen currently. If it doesn't appear this way, check that the STEM, EBSD, EDS and backscatter detectors are withdrawn. Check chamber view and the stage control panel and move the stage to a safe position. Tilt to zero if needed. Make sure that EHT is off, indicated by a red cross. For pin mounted samples, get the stage mount out of the desiccator, taking note to use your ungloved hand to touch the desiccator cover, tools and computer, and your gloved hand to handle the stage mount and your samples. Using the circular tweezers, place your samples in the pinholes on the mount. Gently tighten the hex grub screws using the key. Do not over tighten these screws. Vent the chamber by clicking on back and selecting vent. This will take around three to five minutes. Once the chamber has vented, carefully open the chamber door with your ungloved hand. Slide the holder onto the stage mount. The brass dovetail on the holder base has a flat edge and this should locate against the stop bar on the stage. The holder should be concentric on the stage. Carefully close the chamber door and pump the system by selecting VAC and pump. Minimizing the time open will help maintain a clean system. Remove glove. While it is pumping, check the SEM control panel and make sure aperture is set to 30 microns. High current mode is off. Fish eye mode is off. Tilt correction, dynamic focus and scan rotation is off. Select carousel 9x9mm holder in the stage navigation panel and make sure the track Z is checked. All additional control windows and panels can be found in the pop-out list, triggered by the little arrow on the right side of the scanning image area. Move the stage up using the small joystick so that the specimen is about halfway up the screen. Position the stage so that one of the circumference positions is in the beam path. Always view the chamber scope when moving the sample. There are two joysticks that control stage movement. The thin one moves the stage up and down and tilts the specimen. The larger joystick controls X and Y motion and rotates the stage. Determine the beam conditions for your session. Experimentation will be required to get the optimal settings. Set the desired KV in the gun panel or the data bar on the SEM screen. When the chamber reaches working vacuum, switch on the EHT. Select the SE2 detector to start with and adjust the brightness and contrast. Decreasing or increasing the scan speed so that the frame rate is fast enough to see the changes as you adjust these settings. Adjust the brightness and contrast so that you can see some features on the screen. Typically setting the brightness to around 50%. Move to the lowest magnification using the magnification control on the keyboard to easily locate and focus the sample. Note that the working distance displayed in the data panel is only correct when the image is in focus on your sample. After achieving a reasonable focus, gradually increase the magnification and focus again.
Move the specimen to the desired working distance. Always watch the chamber scope when bringing the sample to a shorter working distance. And make sure track Z has been checked on the stage navigation window. Do not move the specimen closer than 3 mm. Refocus and begin imaging using your desired detector. The SEM has a multi-hole aperture with sizes ranging from 7.5 microns to 120 microns. Increasing the aperture size increases the beam current. There is no useful improvement in resolution for apertures less than 30 microns, but you may need these sizes to control charging or specimen damage. Focus and stigmate the specimen at a suitable magnification. For example, 5,000 to 50,000 times. You may find it easier to reduce the scanning area using the reduced area window and slowing down the scan speed to gain a better signal. Press the wobble button. Center the apertures using the X and Y controls to minimize the movement of the image as the focus wobbles. The aperture must be recentered whenever a different aperture size is selected. When changing to or from high current mode or when making substantial changes to beam energy. Turn off the wobbler. To capture an image, focus and stigmate the image at about two times the magnification you want to capture the image. Set the brightness and contrast so that the features you are interested in have a good dynamic range. Set the scan conditions to reduce the image noise and to capture at the desired resolution. Line averaging works well, allowing charge to dissipate and limiting beam damage. For the backscatter detectors, a slower scan rate is generally required. Set the scanning option to freeze on end of frame. Press the freeze button. When the frame capture is complete, the orange indicator in the bottom right corner will turn red. Use the file save dialog to save the image to RDS folder. Set the appropriate path and file name and reset the increment counter. Press the freeze button again to resume scanning. At the end of your session, go to TV mode. Turn off the EHT. If performing EDS, EBSD, STEM, or backscatter, then retract these devices. Lower the stage to a safe position, approximately mid-screen in TV mode. Return the stage to zero degrees tilt if required. Vent the chamber. With a gloved hand, remove the specimen holder, then close and pump the chamber. With your ungloved hand, select VAC Pump. Carefully unscrew and remove samples from the sample holder and put it back in the desiccator. Make sure the vacuum status is pumping before you leave the instrument. 